My name is Tom, I am the crypto investor, and I wanted to just bring you a quick video because we have a breakout. This is looking at Ethereum. We have been in this ascending triangle for, what is it, 25 days or so. Um, Ethereum has been knocking its head at this 3,300 level. There we go, 26 days, and it just broke. And you know, we could, I, I posted on the community post yesterday that I doubted it would be 15 days that we could finish this completion completed this pattern and hey presto look at that 12 hours later bam we just broke out and so two things can happen we can obviously just continue this move impulsively to 3600 or we perhaps come and get a retest confirm this as support and then resume upwards or of course we have a retest and we fail and we break down but just doesn't feel that that is what's happening right now when you consider how much Ethereum is getting burnt because of the NFT mania that we are seeing. And I will be putting out an NFT video for you uh, during this week as well, just to discuss what's going on there and how you can or cannot benefit from that mania. So, uh, you know, I like to buy breakouts. Um, I mean, a classic point, a classic example would be if you look at Solana. Um, I was watching, in fact, here we go. I was watching Solana versus Ethereum and we had this, uh, consolidation pattern and then once we got the breakout you know you can think oh I've missed it here you haven't you know breakouts can often last a long time so don't be afraid to buy breakouts don't be afraid to buy momentum it's it's a better it's better to effectively be buying here than it is to you know be buying here and then for us to come back down obviously to buy lower on support is going to be better but there's nothing wrong with buying a breakout that's uh, it's quite a nice entry here to uh, to add to your ethereum stack and we could easily see a real um uh, follow through on this movement here looking at ethereum versus bitcoin um we can see that we were in this pennant formation which i shared with you on sunday and as discussed we have also had the breakout here so this could really lead to a more sustained move for ethereum versus bitcoin as well perhaps coming up and retesting the 50% ratio once more. Um, if we actually have a quick look at Bitcoin, it's somewhat lagging. So Ethereum, um, Ethereum is up 6% on the day, whereas Bitcoin is up only 2.1%. And it basically is continuing to just consolidate 50,000 providing a significant sell wall um, that, that Bitcoin needs to break past before it then continues its move higher. And I have no doubt it will, but you can see that there's a lot of selling pressure coming in at that, that big psychological round number of 50,000. So it's Ethereum's turn to really play catch up. Let's just take a look at the dominance. So Ethereum's dominance is, we, we got that lovely bounce off this, and Ethereum's dominance has pushed up to 19% now. As I said, if we break 20, then it can really get moving. Interestingly, Bitcoin's dominance. So we had this I inverted this chart for you. If so, this is making it upside down to represent a bull flag, if you will. So you've got your flagpole and the flag. And this is looking at Bitcoin uh, dominance, So, but upside down. So we're at 42% dominance. I expect Bitcoin's dominance to continue to fall. And the reason I've inverted it is because, you know, this is like seeing a, a breakout for the alts. So Ethereum, Solana and everything else. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised to see this move to 40% and then perhaps 35% or so. So we're seeing, you know, basically what that represents is, is a risk on. It's people prepared to take more risk with their cryptocurrencies. Um, so we're seeing quite a nice break there. You know, historically, this is, we're heading up to, to dizzy heights. And this is just also representative of the whole space maturing, more confidence in other coins rather than just Bitcoin, which you know many people feel it's obviously it's but it's it's safe but somewhat inert and less interesting. Um, so that for me is quite a critical breakout here. So we've got three critical breaks. We've got one, two, and this break for Bitcoin's dominance reduction in dominance let's take the invert off because it gets confusing if i leave that on all right uh, i think it's worth looking at solana whilst we're here so this is solana versus ethereum um and obviously ethereum has not exactly been holding back it's been on somewhat of its tear itself but you can see that just in the last one two three five six days solana has risen 71 percent more than ethereum quite remarkable moves here's ethereum versus the sorry here's solana versus the us dollar 
Um, and you can see that you know, ever since we really broke this uh, descending move here, we absolutely flew and Solana is just you know taking everyone by storm. 350% return in a month for Solana. I think it's now eighth by market cap. It could be seventh by market cap. I'm sure it's going to take Doge's place pretty soon. So that's it really. I just wanted to kind of take that dive around the markets to share that with you. Um, it's for me, this this warrants uh, action. Um, this, this could well be the beginning of a more sustained move upwards for Ethereum. There's every chance this can rip your face off. <laughs> so um, that's it really. Um, Obviously, uh, this is not financial advice. I'm just a guy on the internet. And please do smash the like button. Please do subscribe. Please do hit the alerts. I really appreciate it. And please comment. Let me know what you would like me to share more um, content on. Um, and yeah, enjoy the breakout. I'm hoping you are also enjoying this green day on the markets as well. All right, that's it. Speak to you soon. All the best.